Hey you guys, it's Paul here and welcome to I Cook and Paint. Today it's the recipe you've all been waiting for, Gingerbug Cola. So many of you have been asking me for this recipe and today I'm happy to finally share it with you. My Gingerbug Cola is made with all natural ingredients that you probably already have. And we all know that Gingerbug sodas are lacto-fermented, which means they're full of healthy probiotics that your guts will love you for. At least that's what they say, right? I don't know. This might not taste 100% like the cola you get from the store, but it's probably going to be better. Now you want to make sure that your ginger bug is well fed and bubbly. If you haven't used it for more than a week, then take it out of the fridge and pour some away. Then feed it some more fresh ginger, sugar, and water and just let it sit out for a couple of hours until it's bubbly. Usually in cola, the main flavors are orange, lemon, and lime, so we're going to need one of each of those. And then some of the other flavors are ginger, cinnamon, coriander seeds, nutmeg, brown sugar. The ginger I normally chop coarsely and I always like to crush the coriander seeds because that releases is a lot of their flavors. And finally, we're gonna need some chlorine-free water. Tap water becomes chlorine-free when you let it sit out for 24 hours. Now I'm gonna add the cinnamon, coriander seeds, ginger, and brown sugar. So everything but the nutmeg you saw earlier. We're also going to peel the orange, lemon, and lime. So when you're doing this, try not to get too much of the white part in there because that might make the cola bitter. So just get all those rinds in there. It already smells like cola. Now I'm going to bring this over to the stove. I'm going to turn the heat on high and let this come to a boil. And I'm just going to keep stirring it until all that brown sugar dissolves. As soon as I see that it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat down to a simmer. Make sure that you keep the pot covered while it's simmering because that way it won't reduce. So let this simmer for 20 minutes and then take it off the heat. We want this to cool until it's just warm. That's because the next few ingredients that are going to go in are a little bit heat sensitive. So I'm going to wait another 20 minutes. Now I'm going to cut the orange in half and add all of its juice into there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the lemon as well as the lime. Now I'm going to add some vanilla and a few grates of nutmeg. That's about a pinch. And as an optional ingredient, a little bit of caramel color if you want your cola to look a little bit darker. And then finally, when it's cooled completely, I'm going to shake the ginger bug. For every quart of soda you make, you need a quarter cup of ginger bug. So I'm making a quart, and here's a quarter cup of ginger bug. And remember, your cola has to be cooled completely before you add this. Now don't forget, you have to refeed the ginger bug. And the way you do that is you just chop up some fresh ginger, leave the skins on, along with some sugar and more water. Make sure this water is chlorine free also. Now I'm going to close this and shake it all together. Now before I put this away in the fridge, I always loosen the lid. That way the ginger bug can breathe. And that's it. That's how you feed your ginger bug. Now it can go in the fridge until next time. Now I'm just going to strain this. Get all those solids out of there. Now as an optional step, I usually like to strain this a second time through some cheesecloth. This isn't absolutely necessary, but as you can see here, there's still a little bit of residue left behind. So it's up to you. Here I have some glass bottles, and these are the kinds with the swing top lids that can close really tight. You can also use recycled plastic bottles with regular screw top lids. Now I'm just going to add this to the bottles. I'm only going to fill them two thirds full because I want to leave room for gas to expand in the bottle. So now I'm going to shut these tight. It's really important that these are sealed tightly because that's how the carbonation is going to happen. So now I'm just going to put these away on a shelf where they'll be undisturbed. Always let it sit in a warm place away from direct sunlight for about one to five days, depending on how warm your house is. But if you see something that looks like scum forming on the top of your soda, it's probably doing the right thing. Those are actually the bubbles. And that's it guys. Keep your ginger bug sodas in the fridge to slow down the fermentation and try to drink them within three days. Hey, not only do I love to make cola, I also love to paint it. But I guess that's what happens when you cook and paint, right? No, maybe not. To check out more of my artwork, go visit my blog at icookandpaint.com. And as always, you will find the link for this recipe underneath the video. And for more cooking and painting fun, why not follow me on Facebook and Instagram? Bye for now.